Welcome to the Emancipate Your Mind podcast. I'm your host, certified religious transition and trauma recovery coach, Terry Hales. I help people step out of the shadows of religious fear and shame and embrace their authentic selves with love and empathy. If you're ready to throw off the shackles of learned binary thinking and explore a more nuanced approach to life, this is your playground. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Emancipate Your Mind podcast. This week, I have some unexpected but rather big news. So this past week, both of my kids went back to school. I have one in high school and one in middle school, and they're both very involved in activities. My oldest does high school marching band. My youngest is involved in theater and sports, and I just got the list of all of the things required for their sports this year, all of the volunteer hours that parents have to contribute, all of the games, the competitions, the rehearsals. And as I was sitting down and scheduling everything that would need to be done and all of the hours required of me in order to support them in the things that they love and the ways that they're developing, I realized there's no way that I can continue to do the research necessary to create the podcast that you deserve to listen to. And while I could sit down and just record whatever comes to mind, that's not why I created this podcast. And I don't think that's why you're here to listen. Um, And so this week, I've had to make a hard decision to step away, at least for the upcoming semester, because I'll be spending about 10 hours a week, driving kids here, there, and everywhere, volunteering, and providing the parent hours necessary to help these activities remain alive for the kids who participate in them. And so I am sad to say that this is a signing off podcast, at least through December, And I don't know what January is going to hold because I've never had two kids this age before. I was surprised when my oldest entered high school and how demanding marching band was. And I'm surprised again with my younger son and his activities. And so I don't know what to expect and I'm just kind of rolling with it. But I just wanted to stop and say thank you. Thank you for the two and a half years that we've had together so far, for all of the conversations, for the laughs, for the ways that I've learned and grown and stretched. Thank you for all of your comments and your feedback. I felt like I found a real community here and I've felt supported and like I haven't been walking alone and I've loved that. Thank you. For all of the hours you've spent listening, for the times that you've referred your friends. Thank you to all of you who've come to the Wednesday calls. We're going to continue those for the time being because we've enjoyed the community that we've built there so much. But thank you for understanding that when it comes to helping people find their way in life, my very first priority is always going to be my kids. And making sure that they get the time and attention that will help them become the people that they're becoming and that they know that they're my first priority. So I love all of you. I wish all of you well. And if you want to join the Wednesday calls with or without a donation, it does not matter. I'd love to see you in the community call and we can talk face to face. And just get to know one another and provide community. So we'll still be doing that on Wednesday nights at 5.30 p.m. Every Wednesday, except for this upcoming Wednesday, because there is a huge band thing going on this upcoming Wednesday that I will be participating in and helping to organize and arrange. So thank you again. 
And please feel free to email me if you would like to come to the community calls and I will talk to you.